Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So, um, today is November 29th, 2020, and what I want to talk to you about today is how seeds actually sprout. So, um, this one here is a lemon gum eucalyptus seed, and you can see the seed right there. Now, this one here was planted on 25th of November, and you can see there's a seed here, um, there's one over here, and there's one over here. And there's another one right there. So what these seeds are actually doing is they are starting to germinate. So this is a lemon gum seed here that is dormant. It hasn't started sprouting yet. It's still in a little plastic bag here. So this is a dormant seed here. And when I planted my seeds, this is this is what they look like. So what these are actually doing is they are absorbing water right now and then they're going to send out their little root and they're going to start growing. So your seeds have energy stored up in them and that energy is for when the conditions are right the seed sprouts and it can push off the seed coating which are your seedling leaves. They're the first leaves that appear emerge. So, um, this actually, I was reading a book and he was doing an experiment with avocado seeds. Now, avocado seeds are much larger than what, um, like lemon gum seeds are. And, um, he was saying about how he was watching these seeds and how when they started absorbing water before they sprouted, the seeds started swelling up on them. So, um, when I did my planting of my strawberry seeds last year, when I did my planting of my strawberry seeds in the wet paper towel method, I was watching the seeds and I noticed the ones, they started absorbing the water in and the seeds started getting larger. And then sure enough, they would start sprouting. They would put the little root out and then, um, you know, you'd plant them and then they'd come up and push the seed coating off. So it's a very interesting process for how seeds actually sprout. Now some plants and some seeds will send out a tap root. Um, your oak trees do that. And they send this long tap root out and it goes down into the ground and then um, your tree grows from there. So these right here, they haven't started sending out roots yet that I've seen, but they definitely are taking up water, which means that they are starting to germinate. So I'm going to get these closed up here and uh, get them back on the heat and uh, continue watching them as they grow. And now some of the things that can happen is your seeds can go what they call weak and uh, through improper storage or if the seeds were stored out in the sunlight or the heat, it can actually expel and use up the energy that the seed has stored in the seed itself to be able to germinate. And what will happen is, is you'll get poor germination results, um, you'll get weak seedlings, or you'll get some that they can't even push the seed coating off the top of the plant because it just doesn't have the energy left in the seed itself to be able to sprout and finish growing. So um, that's why it's so important after your seeds sprout and they have, they start getting their true leaves that you start feeding them because by that time they have used up all of their energy that's in this seed right here. So um, that's why it's so important to feed your little seedlings so that they get off to a good start when they start getting their true leaves. And uh, I choose to feed mine with a fourth a teaspoon of miracle Grow to uh, a gallon of water. Now that's the all-purpose miracle Grow that I use. And I feed them once a week with that. And I find that it develops a really nice, strong, healthy plant for me. So uh, I'm going to get this closed up here and get these back on the heat. And uh, I'm going to watch them as they continue to grow. If I see them start putting their roots out, I'll come back and um, I'll add more to this video. So please stay tuned. Now, um, another thing that can happen 
is if your seeds are picked too immaturely or if they were never pollinated then um, they're not going to germinate because um, they were either picked too early or they never got a chance to mature or they weren't pollinated and um, they never had a chance to develop. So um, some seeds need a cold stratification period before they'll even sprout for you. Now eucalyptus trees are one that do benefit from a cold stratification period before you plant them. And that helps to uh, helps the seeds to sprout for some when you chill them before you sow them. A lot of your perennial seeds are like that. They need that cold and then that warmth to trigger them to start germinating for you. So um, you can see the little lemon gum eucalyptus seed here has put its root out to start growing. So um, there's another one over here right here this one here it uh, started sprouting up so what this means is is the seeds have broken their dormancy they've absorbed enough water and um, they had just the right conditions for um, germination and they're starting to germinate for me here so this one here is still um, germinating it didn't put its roots out yet but um, you can see that the seed has absorbed the water in, so um, it's starting to break its dormancy, so uh, it can germinate and uh, sprout for me here. But um, this one here should be getting the leaves soon, and this one here should um, be starting to send the sprout up for uh, the leaves as well for the little eucalyptus tree. Okay, so um, today is December the 11th, 2020, and I'm going to take the lid off here, and we're going to see how the little lemon gum eucalyptuses are germinating here. We can see some uh, leaves here already that they pushed the seed coating off. Okay, and here are our little lemon gum eucalyptus trees. So um, the seeds absorbed enough water and uh, they had the right temperatures. They germinated up for me here and um, you can see the leaves here. Now this one here is still germinating. It's pushing the seed coating off. Um, this one here has just finished pushing the seed coating off. So I'm still waiting for this one here to germinate for me here. But um, the rest of them are all germinating. So, um, and uh, before I read the book, that book, I never thought about how seeds germinated before. I knew, you know, that the seeds had the energy stored in them, but um, I never paid attention to um, after I planted them to see if they were starting to absorb the water in, if the seeds were starting to swell up, you know, how they were germinating and when I read that book it really um, gave me a better understanding of how seeds germinated. So um, when I did my strawberry seeds in the wet paper towel method I was watching the seeds then and I could see you know the seeds were starting to swell up and then within a little bit they would start putting the roots out because they had absorbed enough water to break the dormancy and um, they had the right temperatures and they started germinating and um, they would sprout for me then. So uh, it was pretty interesting and with, with these seeds here, the eucalyptus seeds, for the lemon gum, they were larger seeds so uh, when I surface sowed them and I seen what they were doing, I thought, you know, that'd be a pretty neat video to explain how seeds germinate and um, what to look for for uh, your seeds, especially if you surface sow them. And it kind of helps you to know, hey, these are germinating or um, they're kind of still sitting there dormant. So uh, I thought it was pretty interesting. So I hope you found some useful information out of this video. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. That ties I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye.